Now, EBV can cause another type of lymphoma, which occurs in the brain of HIV patients. Look at this poor elf getting electrocuted by the villain's shocking power. The shock is so powerful that we can see the little elf's brain. This refers to primary central nervous system lymphoma. On imaging, this appears as ring-enhancing lesions. So we've added some rings to the villain's hand. I think it's those rings that give the villain his electric shock power. Let me show you what these ring-enhancing lesions look like on imaging. Now this is an MRI showing a ring-enhancing lesion down here. Now this finding can be caused by an EBV-induced B-cell lymphoma, or a primary central nervous system lymphoma. It can also be caused by toxoplasmosis, and this means that a ring-enhancing lesion is not pathognomonic for EBV. So on a test, if you're shown a ring-enhancing lesion like this, be careful to pay close attention to the vignette to make sure you don't easily fall for toxo or EBV. In the question stem, you can always tell which it is. It's important to know that a primary central nervous system lymphoma occurs in HIV patients, particularly those whose CD4 count has fallen below 100. Now look at this little elf holding up that $100 bill. The poor guy's trying to pay off the evil villain so he will just leave the village in peace. Now this $100 bill represents the CD4 count of 100 or below. So again, the villain has that band-aid on his right thumb holding that poor guy's head, and the little guy's holding up that $100 bill to try to tell the guy to leave. This represents the fact that primary central nervous system lymphomas occur in HIV patients when CD4 counts are below 100.